In the first half of this module, we learned about the physical and chemical properties of rock crystal, uh, the mineral quartz. Again, the chemical composition being SiO2 and the rock crystal, very clear, very colorless, is a particularly pure form of SiO2 in crystalline form. The addition of Slight amounts of impurities such as metals can lend different colors to the crystal, like the amethyst that you see here. And um, we're going to move on now in the second half of the lesson of this module into learning about how these materials were used in art history, which is Heather's expertise. So uh, in the art history lesson, uh, one of the first things we're going to be talking about is acquiring and working with rock crystal. And even though rock crystal was relative, uh, quartz is, is found everywhere and is relatively common, uh, really beautifully clear and pure rock crystal without a whole lot of imperfections is rather rare. And not only was it rare, but it was somewhat difficult to work. It has, it tends to be both hard uh, and brittle. And so it has to be worked very, very carefully. Um, if you strike it percussively, you uh, run the risk of some disaster and uh, the, the destruction of your piece. Um, and although we know that this could be worked percussively, it had to be done with a great deal of skill. Um, and we're going to see a series of videos uh, in which an experimental archaeologist, Elise Morero, describes the actual process for creating particular types of vessels out of rock crystal. And as we'll see as we look at tools and images from history and read descriptions, these technologies are ones that existed at least from the ancient Egyptians up close to the present day. And in some areas of India where they're still doing gem engravings and carvings uh, without electric uh, tools, uh, you can still see evidence of that same technology today. Then we'll shift to uh, a discussion of symbolic properties of rock crystal um, and the ways in which this association with purity, with water, and with ice were picked up and given different religious uh, symbolism in different periods. And of course, then we'll look at a series of case studies.